Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over here in Overlook by TriPoint Homes in the Red Point Village of Summerlin. And my clients are buying a brand new home here. We did the final walkthrough last week, but I was busy, couldn't do this video, so I thought I'd just come real quick and take a video of the home. She bought the plan three which is let me get to my notes 3254 square feet she has four bedrooms and a flex space four and a half bathrooms three car garage and the starting price as of right now is one million one hundred and seventy five thousand when she bought this home back in april of last this year it was actually probably a lot lower than that so when you do new construction walkthrough, you obviously go through and put blue tape on everything, but this one's gonna be a little different because hopefully they're working on it because we're supposed to close um, the 21st on this house, but by the time I post this, it, we may have already closed. So when you buy new construction um, and any builder, the front landscaping already comes landscaped and it comes with pavers in the driveway. My client did spend a little extra money and got the epoxy flooring for both garages. So here's the third car garage right there that has the opener. So since we're here, before we get in the house, let's just look at the garage. Um, right here is gonna be your main water line, then your fire sprinkler line, then a second electrical panel. This is for your drip system, a 220 voltage for electrical car. She got the um, water softener system, and then the nice large tankless water heater that's in all of these homes here in um, TriPoint Homes at Overlook. So it looks like they still have the blue tape in parts of the house. So the plan three, there's different ways when you buy this home, you can get, um, it could be, uh, I think, four, to, three to four bedrooms. So my client has it as the four bedrooms. Now, when you do a new construction walkthrough, it usually takes about two hours, if not more. And the builder's managing, building manager, or I don't know what they call him, will walk with you and go over everything of the house. And then at that time, you'll also blue tape whatever issues. So this floor plan, plan three, has the courtyard. Um, and then this is obviously going to be part of your landscaping that you have to take part be responsible for she also got the upgraded package for the camera system and the alarm in the house Oof, that's got to get fixed <laughs> well at least it's empty so I went with my client to the design studio to help her pick out all the selections. That's one of my favorite parts when my clients buy from ground up is to help them coordinate what would look best in their home and try to you know get a sense of their style. So when you walk in, you have this beautiful huge door that is a little squeaky that they need to fix. Um, you have the flex space right here. And I do believe this one can be converted into a bedroom. Um, my client opted to have the fireplace and also the smurf tubing and the cat six ethernet right there um, so also when you buy from ground up you get to pick out your electrical package how many extra can lights do you want how many extra plugs do you want do you want to have the tv mounting with the smurf tubing etc and that tends to be costly, but if you can afford it, I would highly recommend doing these extra upgrades, especially with can lights. These things can be done after the fact, but it's also better to have it done prior to closing. So as you walk in, you have this huge great room area. Now this is how the model has it with the double um, islands. Um, my other client's got it as the L shape, but we'll go more into the kitchen in a minute. So this is a very large room. I think the model has a fireplace right there. They opted not to have it. The large windows, 
they opted not to do the Smurf tubing either because all they need is a TV. So, um, they, but they have the Cat 6 right there, so that's good. Now, the nice thing about these sliders is that they go trifold or they fold all the way into the door. So let's see if this is locked, yeah. So this is a very cool feature and I like that it's black. And it goes all the way. Ooh, ah. All right, I'm not strong. I'm not gonna demonstrate that. <laughs> but I'll leave it cracked open so I can go outside in the backyard. So here's another view. So this is the double island, just like the model. And she also got the bar area. So what we did was we selected the darker cabinets for the island with the white quartz countertops. And then she went with the white shaker cabinets for the rest with a black quartz countertops, which is very nice. I love black and white kitchens. Um, you can never go wrong. It's classic. Um, and then the backsplash is the same as the quartz countertops. Um, this door slider also goes all the way into the wall as well. You have tons of can lighting throughout. We're just waiting for this to be fixed. You have this large, beautiful window with a large basin sink. Water filtration system is gonna be under the sink, whoops. And then this beautiful GE Monogram cooktop with huge vent hood and the beautiful appliances. I love these GE Monogram. And then here is also the built-in refrigerator area. I think this is a Sub-Zero fridge. It's pretty cool looking. It's just wider and the depth is smaller. Then you have the pantry over here. Yeah, so when we do a walkthrough, it looks like all the tape is still here. We check all the drawers, make sure everything closes nicely. We check to make sure that there's gas and the burners are working, all the water works, um, and we make sure everything is in good working order. So when my clients come and move in, everything is perfect. And here is the dining room where the dining room table goes. I love the thickness of the countertops. I think it's two and a quarter inches. And she has a little wet bar area, a refrigerator for the kids, and then she's gonna have an ice maker over here as well. So this is a very little nice bar area. Then in this corner is the primary bedroom and bathroom. It's a very large size bedroom with the vaulted ceilings, the four can lights, and the um, wired for a ceiling fan. And also she got some alarm system. I think that's for the shatter proof glass. Love these floors. This is a luxury wide plank vinyl flooring. There's also three zones for the heating and cooling. Um, you have one here, one in the great room, and one in the other side of the house. She also put the alarm panel in her bedroom and also in the garage. So as you walk in, you have this huge primary bathroom with two sinks separated with the white shaker cabinets, just like the kitchen. And I love the LED lights. And then this BAM shower. I like the tile that she selected, this big tile, and then the honeycomb black, which looks really nice. And then the nice tub. In the closet. Okay, so let's go to the back side of this house. And you have two bedrooms back here. Here's bedroom number one. Oh, there's no lights in here. So the nice thing is that 
or these floor plans right here is that this floor plan, plan three, every bedroom has a bathroom in it. I have another client that we closed in the summertime that bought this exact same floor plan because of every bedroom has a bathroom. So that's a great feature, a lot of people like. And then you have this bedroom with the two can lights and the pre-wire for the ceiling fan, the slider closet. Huh, what's that switch for? It's weird. Oh, uh, maybe that's where the hot, half hot light switch is for. Uh, my client also got all the ethernet cat six uh, plugs in here as well. Then you have the front bedroom. This I think is the smallest out of all of them with the same you know, features, the two can lights, the pre-wire for the ceiling fan. Um, this one has a bathroom as well. And I think all the bathrooms have the same uh, tile work. Then you have a small walk-in closet right here. Then we have, um, well, before I go further, right here is going to be your smart panel and alarm system. Then you have another half bath. And then, this is weird, I'm just going this way. Oh, I guess to differentiate your linen closet and another closet that's missing shelves. Then you have your laundry room with the nice cabinetry, the sink, great selling feature. Um, and she already got the appliances ahead of time. And the last bedroom, I think this is the biggest out of all the guest bedrooms. Same features, the double are the two can lights, the pre-wire for the ceiling fan, the glass shatter alarm system, the Cat 6, the closet, and then the bathroom, which all of the bathrooms have the same quartz countertops, which is really nice. And all the bathrooms have the same tiles as well. I don't think there's a single tub in here besides in the primary. So we're gonna go in the backyard, and I think that should conclude our tour. Here's the second alarm system panel. So you have the nice covered patio with the four can lights and pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Kind of interesting that it's not in the middle. So their backyard has this beautiful retaining wall. And it's the nice thing about her lot is that it is a corner lot. Um, and so she doesn't have anyone but really this person right next door. And it's very private. There's going to be houses up there, but they're going to be, have a setback. So it's huge privacy. The HOA maintains the landscaping behind the fence, which is really nice. Um, and then you have the, this yard is big. She's going to get a pool put into it. I love the asymmetrical roof lines. And then that goes into your courtyard. She also again got the camera security systems. She got the plugs outlets for hanging a TV outside. Then you have the, I think that's the drainage, your gas line, your water spigot. This has to do something with the gas line. I can't remember. A nice light right there the camera then you have this huge back side yard as well so this is a good size lot i don't remember the square footage of it but it is a very good size lot two ac units to ah sorry <laughs> to summarize this is we're over here at overlook by tripoint homes in the red point village of summerlin and my client is buying plan three at 32, 54 square feet, four bedrooms and a flex space, four and a half bathrooms, 
a three-car garage, and the starting price is at $1.175 million. Um, let me know in the comments if you have bought in this community or what you think of this floor plan. I did post a while ago, I think I did a frame walkthrough of this house, so check that out on YouTube. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin, I am your new home sales expert and I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin. Just give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys on the next one.